Hello friends, welcome to operating system class and in this class we will see the ostrich algorithm uh, that will come under deadlock ignorance from 4th unit. What is deadlock? For executing any process, it requires resources. Okay, for example, this is process. For executing any process, a resource should be assigned to this process. Then only the process will be executed. Okay, if resource is not currently available. Okay. If this resource is not currently available, then this particular process will enter into waiting state. That is wait state. Okay. Sometimes the resource it has requested are held by other waiting process. Okay. This particular uh, resource is held by some other waiting process. Some other waiting process X. Hence, the current process never change its state. That is this waiting state. Okay. It should always wait for this particular resource. Hence, this is called as deadlock. In this diagram, here we are having two processes. Process 1 and process 2. For executing process 1, it requires two resources. Resource 1 and resource 2. Simultaneously, the process 2 also requires the same resources. Here, the resource 1 is assigned to process 1. And resource 2 is assigned to process 2. Okay. Now, the process 1 is waiting for resource 2. But the resource 2 is already assigned to process 2. Isn't it? And uh, in come to process 2 also. The process 2 is assigned. Sorry. The resource 2 is assigned to process 2. But the process 2 is waiting for resource 1. But the resource 1 is already assigned to process 1. Okay. So, this is hold and wait state. This is called as deadlock. Okay. That means the process is waiting for resource. This particular resource is already assigned to some other waiting process. This is waiting process. Hence, this particular process never change its waiting state. Okay. So, this situation is called as deadlock. Deadlock ignorance means if deadlock occurs in the system, then the operating system will just ignore the deadlock and reboot the system so that the, func the system will function well. Okay, if deadlock occurs, the OS will simply ignore the deadlock. This method of solving problem is called as ostrich algorithm. The ostrich algorithm. It is based on the amazing behavior of the bird ostrich. Okay, during the storm, the ostrich bird will stick his head into the sand. Okay, here when storm comes, the ostrich bird hide his head into the storm. Then it assumes that there is no storm. Okay, so based on this behavior, the ostrich algorithm developed. Okay, in this ostrich algorithm, it is most widely used technique in order to ignore the deadlock. See, for ignoring deadlock, we can use this ostrich algorithm. And this is used to maximum in the single end user systems. Like the bird, this ostrich algorithm pretends there is no deadlock in the system. Okay, and uh, this assumes that the deadlock will never happen in our system, right? And this is also reasonable when the deadlock occurs very, very rarely in our system or the cost of the prevention will be very high. In this situation, we can use this ostrich algorithm. Okay. Here, the Unix operating system and Windows operating system are utilizing this particular approach. Using ostrich algorithm is one of the method for dealing this deadlock if the system is very very complicated okay but this is not good idea to solve the deadlock problem hence the drawbacks are more in this ostrich algorithm without finding solution to deadlock problem uh, the problem will not be solved okay now the methods which are used to handle the deadlock are deadlock deduction deadlock recovery deadlock avoidance and deadlock prevention and all these things we will see in our forthcoming uh, classes. Up to this, we have seen the deadlock ignorance from the unit 4. 
Under this deadlock ignorance, we have seen this ostrich algorithm. In the next class, we will see another important topic from fourth unit. Thank you.